Happy Saturday, party people. Happy Labor Day. <laughs> people say that. Apparently, I wasn't quite as aware. Don't recall anyone ever saying Happy Labor Day to me or saying it to anybody else. But it is a holiday weekend, as they say. Full price Courtney, the Yanni Donny, all in studio, working hard here to be an advocate for you, to lead you, guide you, maybe even coach you through the complexities of home ownership, buying, selling, and investing in the DFW real estate market here in mid to late 2023. Lots going on, people, but here's the deal. Your situation is different from mine. It's different from others. So if you've got questions about your current real estate situation, whether you're renting, you own, you're thinking about upgrading, downsizing, buying some property on land, farm and ranch, anything like that, we want, that's right, we want to be a resource to you, even if you're not currently ready to buy or sell. What we want you to do is take advantage of the technology, of the experience, of the strategies, of our books, our modules, our videos, our radio show, our podcast, all these things. Now, here's the deal. Here is the secretive strategy. One might, not, one might even say persuasive strategy, Ian. Here's our game. We want to be so valuable to you when you do not need us for brokerage services that when you do need brokerage services, if you don't have a trusted, proven, full-time expert advisor, that you'd give us a call. I feel like that's a fair enough deal. Yeah, it seems like a nice thing. I'd like to be of value to you for the next 10 years. And then when you're ready to buy or sell, you say, you know what? I'm going to give them a call. Now, here's what we also want to do for you. Long before or after you do need to buy or sell, when you need real estate help, you also call us. And you do that at 214 310 Zero 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 eight. If you don't have that phone number saved in your phone, I'm not entirely sure why not. So go ahead and do that right now. 214-310-0008. You can put my name, Todd Tremani. You can just put my last name, Tremani. You can put the radio show name, DFW Real Estate Weekly. You can put the podcast name, Ian, DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremani. Yeah, all of them. You could put Todd Broker. You could put Todd Realtor. But either yeah. way, just put 214-310-0008 into your phone or the website. Toddtremontyteam.com. Just like my son says, Toddtremontyteam.com. We're here to be a resource for you to help you understand when the media gets a little overhyped or when they get it right. But more than anything, really, what is happening on the ground right now relevant to you in Dallas-Fort Worth real estate? This first segment is, as always, brought to you by Patrick Claros. And his entire team at Cardinal Financial, if you're looking to get a mortgage, if you're looking to refinance, maybe you're looking to get a second property, give Patrick a call. Go to his website. You can start an application at patrickgleros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickgleros.com. You can give him a call, 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308-804. Patrick actually came by the office, what, mm -hmm. a week ago? Two I was ago. out. I was on the mountain. Yeah, you were. And uh, hung out with us for an hour, answered a ton of questions that everybody had on just, you know, what was he thinking that the uh, the mortgage market was going to do over the next year or so, over the next few months. It was just super informative. He's a great guy. Give him a call, 972-728-3420, patrickgleros.com. Fun fact, Patrick has been doing mortgages almost exactly as long as I've been doing real estate, 20 plus years. Wow. So trustworthy uh, thoughtful expert. I'm talking about Patrick, not Ian to be clear because Ian's completely ridiculous. That was the least enthused. Wow. I it was given. I'm sorry. Uh, just to be honest, it's been a conversation around the office, like when and how you muster enthusiasm and we might be bringing in a coach for you on that. But, uh, thanks for the effort. Uh, Hey folks, if you have questions about your real estate, that's the whole point here. We can talk, we can share, we can give you statistics and advice and insight, but what's most valuable is when you have a want, a need, a desire, or some confusion, we would love to help you with that, what your specific needs are. So call or text 214-310-0008, or you can always go online to toddtremontyteam.com. It just feels like we need to help Ian get back on... <laughs> The show train. Listen, we've made it through. You're back to school. 
You say, made, you say made it through like it was a struggle. Well, we made it back to school. It is a bit of a struggle. And and it's a struggle for everybody. It pauses school, the market. School zones. All of it. The supplies. transition. So I I just want to know, like, what is happening in the market now? Like, what, as we shift out of that, everybody's back into their routine, what's happening? Confusion. That's what's happening. Yeah, I feel There's that. There's a tremendous amount of confusion from the consumer, from the homeowner, right? Yeah, like, what now? <clears throat> it. Is this a recession? Is, no one seems to know what label we're putting on that. Is this a horrible mortgage rate market? Are we, is there too much inventory? Is there not enough inventory? These are questions we get all the time. Well, one of the big ones that we've got a lot recently is, hey, I bought my home in 2020, 2021 when everything was amazing, right? right. Um, taxes have all gone up. <clears throat> now I can no longer really afford to keep my house, but my house isn't really worth what I thought it was going to be worth. So mm -hmm. what the heck do I do? Like. Yeah. It's yeah. all real confusion. By the way, the short answer for most of those people is your house is still worth a tremendous amount. It just did not keep growing at 20% per year. It flattened out maybe in the worst of it and is growing three or four or five percent now. So most of those people are still in a fine situation. What's got them in a pickle is that they have a 3% interest rate on that house and they don't want to go buy one at a 7% interest rate. And that's no fun at all. So no one is invalidating that frustration. But from a value perspective, people that bought homes in 20 and 21 have not lost equity. They haven't lost property value. I'm, I'm not saying there are not a few rare exceptions, but on the whole, on the average across DFW, there are very, 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 very few people whose home is worth less than it was last year or the year before. The challenge is they don't want to pay the taxes and they don't want to buy the next house at current interest rates. And that's a very real consideration. Now, it's a first world problem, but it is a problem. And it, no one's exempt from that unless you have cash. And if I did a whole radio show today on who has got the absolute best opportunity in this market, I, would, I could spend as much time as you wanted to on the power of having cash or getting access to cash or using your cash in the current real estate market. People will become wealthy long-term, the rest of their lives wealthy because of the strategies they used with cash for the rest of 2023 and early 2024. I do think we will see some interest rate relief over that exact same time, late 23, early 24. I could be wrong. I'm not saying I know that. I'm saying I think that. And so that cash opportunity will actually go away a little bit. But right now, if you wanted to buy a $400,000 house and you could get your hands on $400,000 in cash, even if you don't keep that property free and clear, you have a tremendous opportunity right now to build wealth. So August is generally speaking, one of those months that as a team, we talk about as being, hey, it's not an ideal time for somebody to necessarily put their home on the market because there's so much distraction with going back to school. Certainly the first two, three weeks, yep. So out of it, <clears throat> What are you thinking the rest of this year is going to look like for sellers, for buyers? But let's really focus in on the sellers yep. because the people we're talking to right now, they just don't know what to do. Yeah. Um, here's the situation. Um, I, My gut, and I'm saying gut on purpose because there's not a tremendous amount of data that supports this enough for me to say this is going to happen. But I think there's a good enough, solid, decent likelihood of mortgage rates coming down some by New Year's. And when I say that, I mean enough that people might say, okay, they have stopped going up. I could enter the market. I can get a little bit of relief and I might be able to refi next year because there's a reasonable belief they could come down more. The whole market is not going to wait until they believe they have timed the, bot the bottom of the mortgage market. <clears throat> That's a whole other deal. But I think now a lot of people are looking at interest rates above seven. When we see that potentially six and a half, maybe coming down a little bit more, you are going to see a scramble of people that have been sitting on the fence, just not wanting to look dumb coming back into the market. If you're a seller, what that means for you is there's way more buyers for your listing and the buyers are more optimistic and they're willing to negotiate and compete a little bit more. So I think there's going to be a real opportunity late in this year uh, for sellers to do well. 
I think there's an opportunity right this very minute for sellers to do well. I mean, we've got sellers breaking records still. Is it as easy or simple as it was a few years ago? Not even close, but we have a seven step proprietary marketing system that has proven for the last 14 plus years to sell homes over the average price and under the average time. And by the way, Courtney, we guarantee that we will do that for our sellers. So if you're thinking about selling and you're nervous about the market, let's have a quick chat and we'll talk to you about how we can still guarantee that even in this market. You can just call us at 214-310-0008 or you can text us at 214-310-0008 or my son would like you to know that you can always go online. ToddTremontyTeam.com To ToddTremontyTeam.com we haven't reached out about insurance lately, give DP Lambert a call or send him an email. You can reach him at dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at goosehead.com. You can call him at 214-838-5684. He can help you with home insurance. He can help you with auto insurance. He can help you bundle. He can help you do them separately. He's going to figure out, him and his team are going to figure out what is it going to take to get you the best coverage at the best price to make sure that you are so happy and supremely covered. Nothing to worry about dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T, at goosehead.com. So what do you feel like the psychology is right now of both a buyer and a seller as we, you know, sounds weird to say, but we move out of summer into the fall, heading towards winter? The primary seller emotion right now is confusion. It's what we were talking about a minute ago, right? The primary buyer emotion right now is fear. And so neither of those are healthy, right? We say around here in our training and in our consulting that a confused mind says no. A confused mind says no. So if you're unsure of what to do, you just don't do anything, right? So if somebody said to you, I know you're sick, I have the best medicine available, but you're not entirely sure of your diagnosis or if the cost of that medicine is worth it, you just go, uh, I'll get back to you. And you do nothing, which is not a good thing when you're sick. It's not a good thing to not sell when you want to sell and the market's good for selling. It is not a good thing to not buy when you want to buy and you can afford to buy and prices are going up. But that confusion is causing sellers to panic and potentially hold out for a market that will be less advantageous. On the buy side, fear is obviously a dangerous emotion to make decisions from right? We don't tend to evaluate the most helpful information. We don't tend to think through and seek out the most trustworthy sources. Fear causes us oftentimes to be impulsive, uh, to make decisions, one issue, one item oriented decisions. So for example, on the buy side right now, we, we see a lot of people that are fearful that if they pay that high interest rate, that's unintelligent or that they were uh, lazy. The reality is they may get a really incredible deal and of the 27 variables of buying, interest rate may not have been as positive as it could have been, but it might've actually been strategically really wise to go ahead and pay that rate. But people are afraid to be dumb or look dumb or, or, or not get it all figured out. And so rate is that one item that's causing them fear, which is leading to inaction or uh, you know, poor action. There's a review on our website that was left by, uh, by a friend of mine that, okay. you know, first I met. I found this on the web for website. Okay. Check it All out. right. What up, hey, Siri? Hi. How are you? They left a review and it basically said, um, you know, we met with the team in, back in 2020, mm -hmm. uh, 2020, 2021, somewhere right around there, and decided to not go ahead. We thought it was going to get better than, Against than advice. what it was, right? And... Um, and so they did, and, and obviously rates went up, uh, but the review was super honest. And they were like, yeah, we, we were told this one thing and we decided to not do it. And man, we kind of wish we did, but we've, we've at least pulled the trigger now, yep. right? And I think that's that's the positive is like, hey, it's it's not too late. Like, don't be embarrassed. Like, don't feel embarrassed by saying, oh, I, w I didn't buy in 2022. I bought in 2023 when interest rates were yep. accepted. Like, it's okay. Well, and what I appreciate about an honest review like that is, hey, these people gave me advice. They did not pressure me though. They let me make the decision. We always say it's our job to resource our clients with the information and the guidance so that they can make the best decisions for themselves or their families or their finances. And they don't always make the decision that we would recommend, but it's not our decision to make. We're the guide, we're the leader, we're the advocate, we're the expert, but you, are the buyer, the seller, the investor, or the homeowner. And so 
with our healthier clients, they go, you know what? You were right, but we still trust you. What's the best decision we can make now? Um, and in the long term, they'll be fine. But yeah. I mean, we were just talking this week in the office about some of the wins that we've had with our buyers recently. And one of them, you know, was a client that Gibson was working with. Um, they were moving from Florida. They were moving here to Texas. They gave us a call. Gibson talked to them. Within 30 hours of Gibson talking to them, they were under contract on a home. They got the home beautiful $10,000 under what it was listed at. And then it appraised for $30,500 more than what it went into contract. Call that a 30-30 deal? Do we? I just made that up. Yes, that's so, what it is. Sounds cool, though. I like it. The old 30-30 I don't know if you know this, that uh, Kyle Tucker, King Tuck, as some refer to him. Oh, 30 days and 30,000. Got it. Mm -hmm. Is about to be a 30-30 steals and But, I mean, that's homers. that's some of the opportunities. Andrew was talking about one that he had. It was... I think they got it for ten or fifteen thousand under what it was being asked for, and then it appraised for another sixteen thousand over what it was being asked for. Wait, that's not happening in this market, though, right? That's the old ten sixteen. Yo, rolls right off the tongue. Yep. Hey, folks. Um, every market is a good market to buy. Every market is a good market to sell. And wait for it. Every market is a good market to invest. Now, Ian Daniels, let me ask you a question. I'm ready doesn't every real estate agent say that because they just want to get deals and get clients and get commissions. So yep. all obnoxious realtors are always mm -hmm. saying that every market's a good, yep. what's the difference in what we're saying and what everybody else is saying? Putting me on the spot here for an actual answer. Huh? If you want to volley it back to me, I'm, that's okay. No, I think the biggest thing that I would say is like, we actually have results with our clients to be able to show people that this is a really good time. Like there is opportunities out there. You need to have your finances in order. It needs to be the right time for you and your family. You need to have professionals that's working with you. You need to be able to create a game plan. But if you do all of that, there is opportunities well, and, out and there. And let me unpack what Ian just said for folks that, you know, don't use the same lingo as us or might not have followed that. But the difference is there are different strategies and approaches. With the right professional, with the right game plan, there is a strategy for every market. But if you or your subpar average normal real estate person has a one size fits all strategy, then you're gonna get obliterated in all but that one ideal market. What we're saying is if you have the right people around you, the right advisors, the right approach, a little bit of patience, and your head on your shoulders well, you can create a strategy to succeed in any market. What do you do in a high interest rate market when you're a buyer? Well, hopefully you use the high interest rate to be able to find attractive terms in the other scenarios of a deal. Purchase price, timing, seller paid, seller paid credit, seller paid repairs, uh, flexibility with terms and lease backs and move-in dates and fees and all those other things. Price and interest rate are not the only terms when it comes to buying. What happens on the seller side when there's not as much buyer demand? Well, we do more to prepare the home and our sellers for market so that we can still create competition, scarcity, urgency, in a real sense uh, that this property is one of a kind. So when we do those things, we turn up or down the volume, the dial of intensity on different aspects of the deal. Like we said on the sell side, we have a seven step proprietary system. On the buy side, we have a 13 point buyer plan. These things are modified and adjusted as the market is moving so that our buyers and our sellers can always get favorable outcomes. Now, the external market conditions obviously are factors of that, but they are not the complete story. A great professional or team of professionals between real estate, mortgage, insurance, title, lending, inspections, all these things can help you tilt the leverage of negotiation into your favor in any market in any market. And I hope that people hear that. So if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in your home or an investment home, a second home, a short-term, long-term rental, a flip, short-term, long-term flip, uh, a home for family, vacation property, anything like that, let's have a conversation early in that process so that we can customize a plan for you. And you can choose if we're the right people or have the right plan for you. And we'll choose if you're the right client or situation for us. And if so, then you can come out way, way ahead by not being dictated to by the headlines, but having an open, ongoing conversation about what's best for you, your family, and your finances. All that starts 
at 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008 or online at touchreminderteam.com. And if you have not checked your home valuation recently, you can also go to touchreminderteam.com. You can click the home valuation tab. And in less than 60 seconds, you can answer some questions. It's going to give you uh, an automated, but pretty accurate idea of what your home is worth. It's going to give you a dashboard that's going to be able to tell you things like what your equity is in your home. It's going to allow you to play around with a few different things. You can offer, you can ask for a cash offer. You can ask for a, you know, a CMA report. You can ask for all sorts of different things from us here at the Touch Money team. Go to touchmoneyteam.com, click the home valuation tab, and in less than one minute, you can get an idea of what your home value is worth. What do you think this yellow button does? Let's try it. You're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti. The old name of the show. How about you this blue one? You also sound as enthused the as Todd Tremonti wow. Home Selling Team, where we guarantee to hey, sell your home over the average price and under the average time. Blue is still accurate. Yellow, not so much. We'll fix sound that Sound younger there, too. I was younger then, yeah. including... I mean, I was younger yesterday. It's a thing I do. All right, folks, if we can help you, that is literally what we want to do. I mean, this, to be brutally honest, this radio show is not efficient enough of a marketing tool for us to just go get clients. We do this because we want to use our God-given gifts to add value in the community. Of course, we'd love to earn your trust when it's time to buy and sell real estate. But until then, we want to be an advocate that helps you sleep a little bit better at night, having an understanding of what your property is worth, of what's happening in your neighborhood, what's happening in your community, and how you can get ahead for your family, your finances, uh, and what's most important to you. So please don't underutilize the resources that we're trying to share with you. Call us, text us, email us, use the website. You can search any home by any real estate company and all of DFW. You can find out your property value. You can find out your home buyer readiness score, your home seller readiness score. You can track your home equity. You can get a cash offer, a, a legitimate cash offer from a local human being, not a website representing venture capital. All that happens at TodTremontyTeam.com, but we would honestly prefer if you called or text and just said, hey, here's a problem. Here's a challenge. Here's something I'm uncertain about. Would you help me? We enjoy that. We really, truly do. If you're not able to call or text right now, but you're able to go to the website, go to touchmoneyteam.com, click the sellers tab. There's a little form on there. You can just put your name, your phone number, your address, and we will reach out to you. I will reach out to you. Yep. By the way, we're also growing. So if you know somebody that you're like, man, they're just amazing. They're interesting. They're dynamic. They're smart. They're competitive. They're fun. They're organized. They care for others. That's a unique package. We interview a lot. We hire very little. But if you know someone like that, send them to us in whatever way you want. They can go to tthst.info, but you're probably not going to remember that. So just send them to tatramaniteam.com or share our contact because I know you've already saved it in your phone. 214-310-0008. Tell them to reach out. We would love to meet with them. If it makes sense for them to join us, Ian and I will personally lead them, train them, mentor them into an incredible uh, career of income, but more importantly, impact. We'll be right after, we'll be right back after the break. We've got all kinds of stuff to cover on the show today, including your questions, 214-310-0008 or touchmoneyteam.com. Welcome back, party people. Welcome back. This is DFW Real Estate Weekly. I am Todd Tremonti. The whole crew is here. We've got full price Courtney, the producer extraordinaire. We've got the Yanni Donnie, the English wonder, getting fired up about the Borough. And um, yeah. we've got fantasy football drafts that have really dominated the office place for the last week plus. It's not uh, been a good start to the season, Court. But more than all of that. Three losses and a draw. More than all of that. Well, we won in the Carabao Cup this week. We've got real estate insights for our friends and our neighbors all across DFW. But you know what we have, Courtney? Do you know what we have in addition to this very radio show? Oh, tell me. We have a podcast. We have a podcast and a YouTube show. It's like the coolest thing because if you're not able to be with us That's 3 it. p.m. to 4 p.m. every Saturday right here on WBAP. On demand. It's like you could just go watch it whenever you want or even just listen to it wherever you want. That's it on your podcast what's the name of it dfw real estate weekly i tried to wait right before like right until you drank your coffee uh -huh. but you were so professional that on you, it 
You got it handled. Can't check the pros, Todd. DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. A very long name because uh, it's a little bit easier to find when you search it that way. So DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti, wherever you listen to podcasts and you'll find us. Now you'll find the radio show there, but you'll also find a bunch of bonus episodes on different topics. Some of them very short, two, three, four minute episodes. Some of them a little bit longer format, explanations, answering of questions, all sorts of stuff happening on the podcast. Check that out wherever you listen to podcasts. DFW Real Estate Weekly. And of course, make sure you're here with us every Saturday, three to four. We got lots going on, lots to help you with. And again, more than anything, we answer your questions. So all throughout the week, when you have a question, do not hesitate to call 214-310-0008. If, if you believe that we can be helpful to you in any way, I'm telling you, feel free. Save this phone number in your cell phone, 214-310-0008. And anytime you have a question, you, do not, you don't have to wait till we're live on the radio. If you call 214-310-0008 or text, there's a very good chance you're going to connect directly with Ian, even if it's a Tuesday or a Thursday. Usually what happens is we'll help you right there in the moment. And then on Saturday, if it's a question that we feel a lot of people are asking and would serve everyone, we'll address it here as well. So not only did you get the answer pretty much immediately within a day or so, then others benefit from that as well. So do not hesitate to call or text 214-310-0008 with your questions. And then if you're not quite ready to talk, which I would tell you, lean early on that. Call us early, text us early. But if you're not quite ready for that, go to the website where you can get property values, search all homes, take a couple of scorecards to find out if you're ready to buy, if you're ready to sell, get information on investing, all those things. Find out about our endorsements. See over 700 reviews. All that is online at touchmoneyteam.com. This first segment is brought to you by Patrick Leros and his mortgage team at Cardinal Financial. Looking for a mortgage, looking to refinance, looking to get a second property. Patrick is the place that you need to begin. Go to patrickgleros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickgleros.com. You can start an application right there on his website. If you prefer to call, you can call him at 972-728-3420. NMLS number 308804. And as always, if you forget any of the recommended pros we talk about on the show, you can go to toddtremoneyteam.com, click the radio tab, and you will find everybody right there. I am not going to derail the show with a um, Cockney ramming slang word of the week this week, Todd. I feel great about it. But what I have done <clears throat> is you mentioned in a pickle in the first half of the show. Any idea where the origin of Inner Pickle comes from? Ooh. Nope, didn't think so. I have done the uh, research, lots of research, and I found out the origin Feeling of Feeling squeezed pickle. like a cucumber when it's when it's pickled. Old Billy Shakespeare is thought to be the Old one to first use the idiom in a pickle in the temper, so he gave it a somewhat different meaning. In England, I just found this out over the weekend, actually, pickle actually refers to something more close to a relish or a chutney and one in a pickle if they are inebriated. In a pickle means drunk. Yeah, apparently so. Per, wow. Per Willie. Not over here. No. In a pickle is a jam, a little twisted up, or baseball reference, we always called it a rundown growing up. Lots of other people called it a pickle. If you get caught between, say, second and third base, and they're throwing the ball back and forth, chasing you back and forth, trying to get you out, we called it a rundown. Lots of people call that a pickle. You know where I got the information from that I just read? Probably a Google. super unreliable source. MLB.com. Okay, marginally reliable source. Anyway, there you go. Just thought I'd make us all smarter today yeah, instead I of derailing feel, the show. I feel like you have. Time. If by smarter you mean another British drunk reference, which seems like 50% of the things mean drunk in, in the English culture. Uh, back to you, Carl, in the office for more Texas real estate. Nope, DFW real estate with Todd Tremonti. We've only had this show name for six months. And uh, we're working on it. You know what? I feel like by next year, we will no longer refer to it by the old show name. I mean, DFW I'm Real Estate. I'm trying my hardest, Todd, to not derail the show. I'm yeah. trying my hardest to keep us on track. I just appreciate you your, I appreciate right, your leadership. You hey, if you have questions, call or text 214-310-0008. Sellers are confused. Buyers are fearful. 
and we are here to help. Sellers need not feel confused. There is clarity, there's data, there's experience, there's momentum on the ground. And as we meet with uh, two, three, 400 buyers and sellers a year and talk to thousands of potential buyers and sellers every year, uh, we want to give you that insight. What we're hearing, what we're seeing, what we're accomplishing, uh, what we're protecting people from, which is often, by the way, we're typically protecting people from the so-called conventional wisdom. We're protecting people from the way most people do things, which is not ideal. So if you're looking for that level of protection or advocacy or looking to achieve your goals and dreams in real estate in the next several months or beyond, give us a call, 214-310-0008 or go online to toddtramoniteam.com. You can click any button, fill out any form, call or text any phone number and one of our full-time dedicated professional agents will respond to you within a day or so, if not sooner. If you're thinking about selling a house, we absolutely still guarantee to sell your home over the average price and under the average time. If you're thinking about buying a home, we're still guaranteeing that we'll save you at least $5,000 throughout the process of purchasing a home. And we'll have a good time doing it. 214-310-0008 or toddtramonteteam.com. What trends, if any, are you seeing right now specifically as it relates to homes on land? Maybe that's between, you know, five, you know, half an acre, an acre, up to five to 10 acres. Yeah, it's job related, right? So this isn't like the most clever answer you've ever heard, but it's changing from the immediate post-COVID trend of I don't have to go into the office. We are seeing people settling into what is now, you know how much I hate the term, new normal. But now the long-term trend, it was a short-term trend of like, do we have to go back to the office? How are we going to do this? Well, now a lot of those companies have said, we are not renewing the lease or we don't need as much square footage. So you don't need to come into the office five days a week anymore. You're going to come into the office one day or two days, or you're going to come in once a month or twice a month. And so we are seeing people settle into or be more confident in living a little further out. Now, the trend initially went way out, like... I can afford a house an hour away. We are seeing that trend rubber band kind of contract back in a little bit to where an hour away from job centers is a little bit of a stretch again. Certainly some people are doing that and we can help with that. But the real sweet spot is in that 30 to 45 minute range. So we're seeing Wiley, Saxe, Murphy, Benbrook, Alito, Walsh Ranch, uh, Lake Worth, Prosper, um, even things like Justin and Melissa that for a lot of people in the heart of Dallas and Fort Worth used to feel way out there is now the outer ring, but a reachable, achievable outer ring. You know, Princeton, we've done some videos on that. Really, really popular right now. Um, Farmersville, which used to feel like too far outside, you know, around the lake. Nevada um, are very much in demand right now for folks that are like, hey, I'm only going in once or twice, so I don't mind a longer commute, but I can't get way, way out there because I do still have to pop in from time to time to work, church, you know, better grocery shopping, all those things. So we saw the trend go way out. We've seen it contract a bit uh, based on sort of the tolerance of people's commute and access to things. Um, we've seen some people move way out to the lake and then within a year ago, whoa, that was too far for our lifestyle and want to come back in. So we've seen some double moves where people were really aggressive and now we're seeing them settle into, I don't mind a longer commute or a little more distance from core things because I don't need to visit them as often, but companies, jobs, lifestyles settling into the post COVID normal, which is now farther out is good, but there's still some attachment to the core city community connection so speaking of like that confusion and like what are you saying to people who wanted to sell in the summer or wanted to move like but but didn't get it done yeah yeah the answer is still a great time to sell still a good time to buy and notice how i said those things differently it's a great time to sell our sellers are still breaking all-time sales records it's taking a little bit longer. They're having to be more strategic on the front end. They're having to listen to our advice and not just wing it and put a sign out. And on the buy side, I'd rather be a seller than a buyer right now. I'm not going to mislead anyone that like, it's always the best time ever. It's not always the best time ever, but right now is a better time to buy. I believe than six months from now, period. 
And I think now is, is still a very good time to sell. I don't know that it'll be any worse time to sell six months from now, but I'd rather be a seller than a buyer right now, but I would gladly do both. As a matter of fact, I'm selling one of my properties like next month. Happy to do it. Worked out very well for us. The buyer probably did a little bit better than they would have had it been gangbusters, but it was a very fair deal all the way around. And I'm looking to acquire property right now. So personally speaking, that's how I feel about it. That's how I see the market. It depends on your strategy and your approach. But if you quote unquote missed the summer selling, I would be happy to be on the market right now, especially with the Todd Money Home Selling Team with a seven step proprietary marketing system that guarantees that we will sell your house for more money than other homes in the area are selling for and faster than other similar competitive homes in the area are selling. That is still very much achievable right now. If I'm a buyer, I'm going to slow down before I speed up though. I'm going to be careful, put together a strategy, sit down with pros, factor in mortgage and the whole game plan. And then I'm going to attack the market with a plan to be able to get more home for my dollar and be able to be fully protected where a year ago people were just hoping to get homes without being protected. We are able to protect a buyer a lot more in this market. So it is a good time to buy. It's a little bit better time to sell, but with the right agent, the right strategy and the right timing, you can win big on both. And we could tell you lots of stories of how our clients are doing that right now in the Dodger Money Home Selling Team. Republic Title, one of the leaders in the industry when it comes to title. We've told you, I've told you for years now that a bad title company can just absolutely destroy a, uh, a we contract. have one happening right now it, it's just things happen and there's so many nuances to getting through a contract getting through a transaction that somebody missing something on title it's massive and i've seen it time and time and time again i don't see it at republic title republictitle.com is where you can go to get more information on all the services that they offer 972-423-8777 is their phone number republictitle.com let me ask you this then. So for somebody that is sitting here right now, they're in the car driving, they're listening to the pod, whatever they're doing, and they're thinking, real estate might be the career that I want to enter. You know, maybe they're, they're not happy with what they're doing. Maybe yep. they're just wanting to do something brand new. What are some of the specific lies pertaining to this particular market that we're in right now yep. that people are believing as they think through entering this is a career. Yeah, it's a super interesting question. So just quickly, for those that don't know, I wrote a book years ago called Five Lies That Will Ruin Your Real Estate Career. And I wrote it for real estate agents, obviously not to make a lot of money, because that's not how those books work. But um, it was intended to tell people, hey, don't believe these things that people always say, these just kind of stereotypes and general ideas. Well, if I were to rewrite that book today for this market in DFW and hand it to someone who was thinking about getting a license and being a real estate agent in DFW, I would say this. I still absolutely believe that this is not a career that should be done part-time. And I know that's hard to hear. I've had hard conversations with single moms, people recovering from a kind of the, the permanent end of a career that they had a lot of training and education based on. And here's what I'm saying. I am not saying you cannot succeed in this business part-time. What I'm saying is that almost nobody does. If we're defining success as a full-time living, providing world-class value to clients, if it is not your goal to make a full-time living and provide world-class value to clients, I'm not angry with you, but I'm not gonna hire you. Our organization is for full-time people who really enjoy, feel like they have a God-given gift and calling to deliver abnormally great value and service to buyers and sellers and even to people who are not currently buying and selling that want to add that value even when they're not getting paid a commission right now to do that. Now, if you hear what I just said and you're like, I want to do that though. I do want to be full-time. I want to add world-class value and I want to take pride in what I do full-time, always learning, growing, sharing. I don't want to do it alone. I want to run with the team of deeply value-based people, then definitely reach out to us. 214-310-0008. Shoot a text. You'll get a chance to chat with Ian about what a career on our team would look like. But the other tips I would give somebody 
are um, commit to excellence. There's like almost 2 million people with a real estate license of one kind or another in North America. That's a large percentage of the working adult population. No one is having a problem finding someone with a license. They're having a problem finding someone they can trust that will advocate for them, that knows what they're doing, that cares enough to treat this as a major career, to think of themselves as valuable in the same light as a doctor or a CPA or an attorney because they understand that what they are leading, guiding, and helping you with is of equal importance, is of significant financial and lifestyle importance in your life. So hopefully that answers the question. Specific to this market, a lot of people are thinking this is a good time to get out of the business. I always think a bit contrarian. It's a great time to get into the business because right now more than ever, real estate consumers know that their goofball friend from college or their niece or nephew is not the best option. Buyers and sellers right now, the smart buyers and sellers right now are looking for a pro, a full-time pro with a plan and a track record. And that is exactly what we do at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. So I just looked up interest rates. You had mentioned interest rates earlier. And I was curious as to like, just what's the average here in Texas, right? Mm -hmm. 8.102. Yeah. So now part of that, by the way, is that the average credit score in Texas is a bit lower than in some other places. This so. is based on a credit score of 700 to 720. Yep. So that being said, because I know there's going to be people out there that have probably done the same thing that I just did, as you're saying, it's a good market to be a buyer. Yep. They just went on the phones, they looked up mortgage rates in Texas, and they saw over eight. Yep. What What's your answer to that? to that as to why it's still good. Yeah, the first part is that stinks. And that's no fun because just two years ago, we were in the threes. So let's not ignore that and act like that's not a really big deal. That stinks. But two years ago, we would have said, man, purchase prices stink. They're going up like two, 3% per month. And I'm competing against 18 people. And to get that $500,000 house, I'm probably gonna have to pay 600 plus. What I'm saying, is I would rather get the $500,000 house for 500 or 480. Like you told two stories at the beginning of the show about how our agents are getting buyers homes below value that are appraising higher and the sellers are doing a few repairs or giving a credit here or there, giving you 10 minutes to think and you're not having to compete like a child at the checkout line in the store really impulsively. I would rather pay $100,000 less for the house, have some time to think, get some repairs done, and pay a higher interest rate one month at a time with a, at least a moderate amount of optimism that that rate will come down over the next 30 years or 15 years and I could refinance later. I mean, from a mathematical perspective, that's the most basic comparison that I'm making, right? If I have to pay 8% compared to 4%, that stinks. But I get to spread it out over a long time instead of having to pay an extra $100,000 at the time of purchase. Even though I could have financed 80 or 90% of that, that hurts way worse than an interest rate, which can be changed later. I'm not saying there's any guarantee of that, but at least I have the possibility because at the $100,000 higher purchase price, I'm paying it when I purchase, I'm paying it on a higher tax valuation, all those things are gonna be negative impacts long haul. I want you to tell us about two things. I want you to tell us about PMR roofing. Believe it. And I want you to tell us about your back backing trip. PMR roofing is the most trusted roofer that we know of in North Texas. They are really good people doing good, honest, hard work with very similar approach and values to our team, the Touch Money Home Sign team. So uh, PMR just put a roof on my house. I can't say a whole lot more to endorse a roofer than I trust them completely. They just put a roof on my place. Um, they just put two roofs on two of the families in my community group. Yep. And they will look you in the eye, shake your hand, and tell you what you need and what you don't need. They'll do great work at a fair price. Go to pmrroofing.com, pmrroofing.com. Once you get on the phone or start emailing with people, ask for Jordan Collins. Tell them Todd Tremonti sent you. Now, my backpacking trip, I did five days in the mountains. Um... We, four nights, I believe. Uh, so we packed in 55, 60 pound packs on day one. Uh, as you eat your food and use things, your pack lightens a little bit. Uh, I went with three good buddies and nine 
people I don't know so well. We told life stories. We spent time reading our Bibles and in prayer and looking at God's incredible creation. Um, we had all read a book called Halftime, by the way, recommended book, Halftime by Bob Buford, that just talks about what have you done in the first half of your life? I'm 40 something years old. Mathematically speaking, that's about halfway. Um, and so I really spent some time quietly in creation with my Bible and prayer and friends thinking about what has God done with me in the first 40 something years? What have I learned? Where have I failed forward? What have we built? What have we created? Uh, what are we excited about? What are we not excited about? What are the raw materials that God could use in the next 40 something years for me to have impact for him for all of eternity? I've got whatever it is, 40, 50, 60 years left to use those lessons, those relationships, those resources, those la the, 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 the learning from the first half to go and hopefully add value in the lives of other people and point them to Jesus. That's literally what I was trying to do out there. Um, you know, I'm not someone who often is like, I, you know, this is my word for word marching orders coming out of something like that. But I felt a lot of affirmation in the dreams and goals we have. Um, I felt a calling to spend more intentional time with my wife and kids, less cell phone, more eye contact, more on the ground, more face to face, um, you know, being in the room is presence of one kind. Being in the room and fully available mentally, physically uh, is a whole nother level of presence. So I want to do that better. I want to do that more. Being a guy that builds businesses, has several, has more ideas than time to implement them, that can be a struggle for me. So how about that for a radio live confession? So I spent time in prayer and in thought and with good friends that would tell me where my faults are thinking through those things. I'm eager to speak, not as gifted of a listener. So I thought about that, prayed about that, talked about that on the trail, and also came home with some really exciting clarity about, from a professional perspective, what I wanna do long-term. And I'll just go ahead and say it right here because I haven't told you guys yet. I wanna invest in people like Ian and Courtney and go, hey, I don't need to be the person with every idea that implements every goal in our businesses and in the ministries we're serving in. I, I think I want to be the guy that pours into other leaders and has a select group of leaders that get the vast majority of my time, my intention, my obsessive desire to keep learning, and then encourage and support as many other people as possible, but draw a very clear line on who belongs in that prioritized group. So it was an incredible time on the mountain. Ramen noodles taste way better when you've been hiking for 10 miles with a 55 pound pack. Uh, way forward adventures, uh, a, a outfitter that started right here in Richardson, Texas, that's now based in Del Norte, Colorado, is an incredible group to use, by the way. So I had a great experience. If you want to do something similar, reach out to Way Forward Adventures or let me know and I'd love to get you connected. If you're thinking about buying or selling or investing in real estate, we'd love to have that conversation. Have it sooner than later. Most people wait too long. You can't start too early. ToddTremonteTeam.com. <laughs>